Hey DYKs, we've got a different video for you today. Money isn't everything my fellow DYKs and no matter if you're a believer or an atheist, you should be aware about the many religions and respect their rights even if you're not a big fan of it. At Didn't You Know, we believe in living an extraordinary life. A life that's filled with laughter and joy to you and to the loved ones around you. Be happy, stay happy and live happy. And help others without being an asshole about it. Welcome to the Didn't You Know channel, the place where phenomenal men and women come to brainstorm. With that in mind, here are the 10 most powerful religions in the world. Number 10. Baha'i Baha'u'llah, a man from Persia, was the founder of this religion, Baha'i. The Baha'i faith believes in the unity of all religions. It merges religious history as a series of divine messengers. Krishna, Buddha, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad had established a reflection which was adhered to suit the needs at that time and capacity of the people back then. The followers of Baha'i practiced prayer and worshipping one God above all humans. All religions in the world have only one God which is single and has no equal. They practice simplicity. This reflects on their ritual as well. Prayer mostly occur in individual homes or centers. There are seven Baha'i houses of worship throughout the world. Number 9. Judaism The Solomon's Temple, which was dated back to 832 BC, is also known as the first temple of Judaism. This was a very important and a very holy temple for the followers of Judaism and is also considered as one of the most holiest temples in Jerusalem. Abraham was the father of the Jewish people, but his descendants were enslaved in Egypt. God told Moses to lead the Exodus. Number 8. Spiritism A French educator named Alan Kardec founded Spiritism in the early 1980s. Unlike many other religions, the founder, Alan Kardec, was not a prophet. And guess what? Spiritism does not believe in prophecy either. Kardec had written five books about Spiritism. These five books are based on the testimony and research in the spiritual world. Spiritism actually teaches the same values as Christianity does. But the only difference is, it does not see Jesus as the Son of God. This religion believes that humans are only immortal spirits which occupy physical bodies to help improve morally and intellectually until the day they pass the spiritual world. Number 7. Sikhism A man from Pakistan who lived in the 16th century named Guru Nanak was the founder of Sikhism. Sikhs believe in God as the one supreme reality. He is known as Ik Onkar. Sikhs pray through hymns and meditation. Sikhism teaches selfless service. Its practices are actually pretty similar to Hindus and Islams. What is really unique about this religion is its distinctive prohibition of cutting hair for those who've taken the Amrit initiation ceremony. And not only that, Sikhs are prohibited of cutting hair because long hair is a symbol of Sikh pride. The turban was conceived to manage the long hair and intended to make Sikhs easily identifiable in a crowd. Number 6. African Traditional Religion There are many traditional religions practiced by African people, but however, they all share the same concepts. All African religions believe in a supreme creator, spirit ancestors, veneration and magic. They worship supernatural spirits including their ancestors, as the intermediaries between human and God. Their religious rituals include animal sacrifice and libation. They also believe that humans should have and maintain harmony with the supernatural world. Number 5. Buddhism According to the Buddhist tradition, Buddha was born in Lumbini, which is a part of Nepal in 563 BC. The Buddha's name was Siddhartha Gautama and he was actually a prince 
living a very luxurious life. After he fled the palace, he found out the misery and sorrow of other people. This was his eye-opening moment. After witnessing this, he actually went to meditate for not 10, but 40 days. He battled worldly temptations to reach his goal. Since then, he began teaching everyone Buddha's experience. And soon after, many of his followers started following his footsteps. He died at the age of 80 in Kushinagar, which is a part of India. Number 4. Chinese Traditional Religion The Chinese traditional religion dates back to 206 BC when the Han Dynasty ruled the country. They worshipped a Chinese god. The Chinese people believe in gods and spirits in a form of forces within the order of nature. There are these four concepts cover the spiritual, the cosmological and the moral aspects of life. The first concept is Xi'an, a heaven as a source of moral meaning. The second concept is Qi, the breath of substance of which everything was made. The third concept is Jingsu, the ancestors' veneration. And the last concept is Boyan, the moral reciprocity. Number 3. Hinduism You might not know this, but Hinduism is actually an ancient religion. It started as a fusion of various Indian cultures and traditions. It is believed to be the heritage of a coveted religion dated back to 30,000 BC, with a classical Hinduism first emerging at 200 BC. The concept of God in Hinduism is very complex. It actually depends on each person's philosophy and the tradition itself. This actually reflects to its rituals as well. For example, Hindus in India practice different rituals comparing to Hindus in Bali and Indonesia. Number 2. Islam In 610 BC, Muhammad had a revelation from God through Archangel Gabriel. These revelations were recorded into a book which is now known as the Quran. The concept of God in Islam is strict and clear. God is one and He is almighty. He created the universe by a simple command. Islam and Muhammad is its prophet. Number 1. Christianity Christians believe that in 4 BC, the Son of God was born. He is Jesus Christ who brought salvation from humanity. The story of his life was written in the Bible, which has now become a guidance to every Christian's life. Christianity teaches the essence in belief of Trinity. God is one God and three persons coexisting as one. These cannot be divided. They are the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Unlike many other religions in this list, Christianity is divided into several denominations. The three primary divisions are Roman Catholicism, Eastern Orthodoxy and Polygesism. These three claim several differences but believe in relatively the same God. Before we actually began researching on this video, we did our best in talking to some of these people who follow these religions and by no means do we plan to offend anybody. These are just facts provided by us in the best of our knowledge at the time of making this video. So what do you think about the different religions in the world? Are you guys actively religious? Let us know. Oh, you're still here. Here's your bonus tip. There's this one religion we were actually interested in but unfortunately, it just didn't find its way to this list. Have you ever heard of Pastafarians and their Lord and Xavier, the flying spaghetti monster? We for sure haven't heard about it and have never met a Pastafarian before, so we don't know. Don't believe us? Then Google it. Then you'll know that we aren't lying. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video where we will be talking about why real estate is and has been the best investment for building wealth. See you. Bye.